friends. I don't remember if I have any friends. <laughs> My sister has recently moved to Melbourne and I haven't been to her house and I don't know if I have time to go to her house filming this Saturday night. I need to be reality checking that and call her today and apologise and ask her to invite me over and tell me the address. Ah, uh, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? I fought so hard for it now, I better be ready. My job and my passion around city making has always been a much bigger part of who I am than say just what pays the bills. I had an amazing job that I loved and I quit that to do this. I realised that a lot of my identity had been shaped by what I did rather than who I was. I'm excited to play a part in Neighbourlytics and to see that vision global. Whether or not in future I'll have a greater role in that, I actually don't know. I have massive FOMO, yes, every day. <laughs> I mean, I had the amazing opportunity to spend a year living in the Pacific last year in Samoa. Being surrounded by a culture which values who you are and is less interested in what you do brought me back to some of the fundamentals of what I think it is to be human. When so much is on the line to make this work, you feel like if you don't give it 150% and it fails, we all wonder that if you'd just given it that little bit more, it wouldn't have. But also, what are you giving up for that? If you strip it all back, you, know, you might not always have your work, but you will always have your family, your relationships. And that's why I ask myself, is this the time I've taken that too far? Like, you can only push the people around you so much before they say, you know what, I give up. This new chapter for me can't be more of that, it has to be different. How you actually figure that out while you're in it, I don't know at all. Hi. I mean, I'd be interested to know why you told me to pursue Neighbourlytics. It's not necessarily like notoriety, but it's just like self-satisfaction, knowing that she's come up with something that's worked and it's, it's her thing, rather than taking something else that somebody has formed and making a huge success of it. It's still not yours. Having Neighbourlytics is something that she's seen from the ground up. That's a very good place to be but you've still got to make time for each other and to not be Mr. Photography and Mrs. Neighbourlytics. You know, it's like life's bigger than that. I grew up living all over the world. My dad was in the army and so I've always been fascinated in identity and how that plays out in like a neighbourhood or a town and then also a city and a country level. I spent some of my teenage years in Kenya, Zimbabwe, in the UK, and the experience that you have when you grow up in a lot of different places is you start to question why things are the way they are. When town planning gets it wrong. So here we have like a modern architectural feature that offers nothing back to the neighbourhood. Look at these renderings about how green and beautiful and interesting this building's actually going to be. This is their street greening program, right? Like wouldn't you think they'd actually take the rendering down once they build the building and show that it's actually hideous? That's just Urban Design 101, like no blank walls on the street. But see this is a new one, they've done exactly the same thing. Just wall. If we as Neighbourlytics can even just help connect with the ones designing this, there's got to be a better outcome than that. There was a time at the beginning when one of the Blue Chile advisors said to us, you know, what if in the future Zara start using your tool to decide where to put their next store? And Lucinda and I were horrified and we're like, well, we're not going to let that happen. And she said, but you won't be able to control that. What do we do? Do we let them buy it anyway for, for their own purposes? I, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm sure as hell not going to be busting a gut for that kind of business though. Where are you now? They want to see the number of bedrooms that competitors have. They think they just want a digital version of the kind of data they're already getting, but we have a new type of data for them that they haven't seen before. That's great, but you can't find that out. Yeah. People don't know what they don't know. You need to map what today's journey is. Yes, if I'm going to map it, I'll do it on the plane. I'm going to Vietnam on Monday, just for a week, with my husband. Two and a half years after we got married, it's our first holiday together, it is our honeymoon. While I'm away, Lucinda's in charge. <laughs> Where are you flying to work? 
Abu Dhabi, you're promising everyone you're going to do all of these things on the plane. Very fast. Did you see I've knocked up a whole website in 45 minutes? I'm teasing. Lucinda will be moving forward, framing up how we recruit potential customers that don't know anything about us. The development managers literally only care about sales. The vitamin, yes, it's incredibly important and that's your vision and your mission as a startup but you're making massive assumptions, <laughs> which is fine. Um, we yeah. all do it. Removing that as much as you can of that bias yeah, lens. Yeah, yeah. Let the customer-centered design process yeah. work. Like I know hundreds of property developers and I've worked with so many different agencies that I think I know their problems. We might know what vitamin to sell them, but we need to focus on the real core headache problems first. So we'll be going out to our partners to see whether they can identify people in their ecosystem who are totally outside the people that we might have come across so far. We also want to reach out to some other agencies. We'll try and have uh, five or six interviews done in the next fortnight, but we've got to keep moving on the product at the same time, so it's something that we have to address pretty urgently. We need to focus on what we can build in the long term. I don't have full daycare on Tuesday, so it's one of those days where I piece it together. <laughs> this week I'm really just paying a lot more attention to deliverables and where we need to be. This isn't away for too long, but two weeks in the scheme of how fast we're moving right now does actually feel like a long time. I'll need to set up the meetings, and if we're able to arrange them quickly, then I will. I love the web of new relationships that's forming around the whole product and that's really exciting to see. Even though our product is in its infancy, there are people who really want this information. I was on the phone to a client and was telling them a little about Nabolytics and he's like, sounds like it'll be useful. And I'm like, yeah, I think it'll be useful. And he's like, all right, yeah, let's do it. So out of that phone call, we got, you know, our first paying customer and it just felt too easy. I didn't even take a computer. The honeymoon was amazing. It felt like it had only been you know, months since we've done it before, not years since we've done it. There were a couple of times that I, I did keep an eye on my emails and there were a couple of times that things urgently, urgently had to get done. But Lucinda had everything covered while I was away. You know, the, the things that did come up that needed to urgently be progressed, she did an amazing job on. I was often kind of laughed at, labelled the crazy community person who just like wants to fight the good fight about social impact. And so I've hit it, and I did for the first 15 years of my career. So it was really that, that collaboration with her over the last few years that gave me the permission for the first time to actually question the industry. I'm sorry that I'm barking at you. I don't mean it. <laughs> Might still be the crazy one. <laughs> Everyone knows and all my friends or my family, they know what's going on, they're getting updated regularly. I have a big cheer squad of people who are excited about what we're doing. So we're going to my sister's house and um, I haven't actually spent any time with her at her house since she's moved there. Michelle! Hello. 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 Hello.